Hey, how's it going my camera loving self-isolating chums? What's in my camera bag? Not important because I released a video about the contents of my satchel about two weeks ago. What's important right here, right now is this. No, the coolest thing is the bag itself. And this is my lovely bag, hashtag not an ad. Really not an ad. I'm not a brand ambassador. I'm just a bit partial to their products. All right, very partial. But this video is sponsored by Audible, the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks. There are a few things in life that are reasonable for a guy to own lots of and obsess over. Cameras, obviously. Watches. Outerwear. And bags. I mean, for me, all of them, maybe apart from digital cameras, they're all utilitarian, but they also serve to be a bit of a style statement. And yes, one of the reasons why I picked this is because it's pretty. So this is the Blingham Hadley 2020. The pre-2020 version was the Hadley Pro. The pre-2020 pre version was just the Hadley and they all look like this. The Hadley Pro added a handle and document pocket on the back. The 2020 adds a couple things too, although I wouldn't blame you for thinking they all look kind of the same. It applies to the school of thought of if it looks pretty damn cool, don't let those itchy finger designers try and change it. Now it's kind of like the Porsche 911, Rolex Submariner, the Leica M, these are icons. If you change the design, they're no longer iconic. A pretty bold statement to call a camera bag iconic, but there is nothing else on the market that looks like it. Change is not needed. Perhaps the only major change they've made in the whole entire history of the company is the fact that they first started off making fishing bags. Now, it's all about cameras. Which is just as well, because I'm not really one for messing about worms and hooks and stuff like that. So why exactly is this a good design? Because it looks fantastic without being ostentatious. You can dress up and it looks okay in a formal setting, or you can dress down and it will still look cool. It's kind of a timeless design. This would have looked good 20 years ago, and I'm sure in 20 years time, this won't look dated at all. But it's not just about the looks, it's about the brand itself. The brand is run by the Billingham family and all their stuff is made in England. I love that fact. In a time when most stuff is designed in the West, made in the East. And when you take that into consideration, their stuff isn't all that expensive. Take their Hadley Pro, for example. Over here, it's just £20 more than a Peak Design Everyday Messenger. Where do you think that's made? Well, how about a patronising point of where it is made? I'm not complaining though, I'm probably surrounded by products made in factories in the Far East. That's just the way it is. But appreciation has to be given to companies that do it the traditional way and give jobs to locals. Anyway, so what exactly is new with the 2020? Oh, so here we are, this is the Billingham Hadley 2020 in the year 2020. What exactly is new? Here we are on the back waterproof zip for putting documents and other flat stuff in and keeping it dry. Then we got a little suitcase strap here to um, strap over your suitcase, obviously. And then round here, we have got the shoulder strap, which is detachable. That's lever there. Oosh, there we are. And it's off. And as we're talking about lever, just on the underside of the handle here, that's now leather. It wasn't before. Not a huge list of major changes, I know, but you know, the waterproof zip does kind of make sense because although they may not look it, both the fiber night and canvas are waterproof. What exactly is the difference between the two fabrics? Fiber light, synthetic, lighter, durable. Canvas will wear out over time, but that's part of its appeal. It's like an old pair of jeans with rips and holes and rub marks and stuff like that. It shows that you've done stuff. Apart from that, canvas does feel nicer to touch. But otherwise, both the fiber night and the canvas versions are three layers. So the middle layer is a sheet of rubber, which makes them waterproof. On the top, you've either got fiber night or canvas, which makes them look good. So you're not carrying around a rubber bag. And then inside is lining. Again, to make it look nicer and just to protect that waterproof layer, right? But yeah, otherwise, mostly the perks are the same as before. You've got the quick release straps, which are the best way of fastening a camera bag. In my opinion, it's quick and quiet. The worst being Velcro, which is about as subtle as a fart in a library. And then the front pockets are accessible via poppers here. Pop. Don't know why I need to provide sound effects because it already has its own. Extendable. Expandable, rather. And there we are. So you can put lots of small stuff in there. 
and with the main camera bag insert which is locked in place with a popper here once that's in place you've got space on the front of it to slide things in filters and stuff like that i usually chuck my spent batteries in here the full batteries are in these pockets and then once i've used them up i just chuck them down here so you've got the main compartment which has some dividers removal of course and then down the back of the insert just some space for some really flat stuff flat stuff including a 13 inch macbook pro and talking about flat stuff if you want some flat documenty type stuff on the back that's a4 sized and i like the fact that the insert is green a lot of the inserts are actually black which is the same color as your carriers and all your accessories which makes it quite hard to find sometimes because it's dark in there you know makes sense right and then all around you've got these leather bits of trim here and there which makes it look nice but also on the edge of the fabric here it just makes it last longer and you're probably thinking all oh, those little metal buckles and leather here and there it's probably gonna make it quite a heavy bag well it's not a light bag by any means but when you compare the weight of this to the peak design everyday messenger which is 1.1 kilograms then there's not too much in it really is there the only complaint I hear about Billingham bags is about the price, and um, also someone once told me it looks like a geography teacher's bag. If you understand how it's made, where it's made, the materials, it really is not that expensive. If a fashion brand were to splash their label on it, it would cost much, much more than this. And the geography teacher thing? Well, maybe that's a cool look after all. Anyway, this video is sponsored by Audible. It's a service that I use. When do I use it exactly? Well, as you may well know, I've got two young kids. So sometimes I need to accompany them when they need to sleep or refuse to sleep. So it's a good time when in a dark room to put the headphones and listen to an audiobook. And sometimes I find myself listening to Go the F*** to Sleep, narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. Of course, it's not for the benefit of getting the kids to sleep, but merely for my own entertainment. But you know, sometimes with his velvety smooth voice and slightly persuasive tone, sometimes it ends up coaxing me to sleep. But yes, every month Audible members get one credit to pick any title plus two Audible originals from a monthly selection and you get access to daily news and meditation programs. With Audible, we get easy audiobook exchanges, plus you get to keep your audiobook library forever, even if you cancel. But if you do sign up now, then you get this lovely offer. Go to audible.com slash kiw or text kiw to 500, 500 And enjoy a 30-day free trial where you get to pick one title and two Audible originals, all for free. Yeah, I did it. Okay, go on then. Wow, that's very nice, smooth, slidey action.